Hey guys, I want to pop up here real quick. You're about to see a video that I pre-recorded um, that's leading into a new series that I'm about to do. Uh, I almost thought maybe I should just redo it, but I like the information I shared with you guys um, in that video. Forewarning, I look a little different because my hair is blonde. I have the blonde braids in it and all that kind of stuff. Um, but the lighting was a little bit eh. So uh, I had to, you know, do some magic, you know, put some filters on it, you know, all that good stuff. So um, I'm not going to redo it. I like the video with exception of a couple of technical things that could have been better. But with that said, I hope you like the video and I will catch you in the next one. Bye. everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Amanda Small and today I am doing or launching the beginning of a new series which is my love and relationship series and I'm really excited about this. I, I'm really passionate about this topic. A bit of a quick summary um, as to why I'm doing this. I have always had a strong passion for people and specifically understanding relationships between men and women and the dating world itself and marriages and I have accumulated a lot of knowledge about the topics just because of my natural curiosity and I think some of that curiosity was spurred on by events in my own life which to some regard honestly should have deterred me from even looking forward to relationships or thinking that relationships, uh, good relationships were possible. But I think by the grace of God, he's just led me in a way um, along in my life where I don't look at relationships in such a negative way when it comes to dating, courting, marriage, all of that. I have a very positive look at that. In the past year alone, since graduating um, from my university, I spent a lot of time working on myself and part of that was reading a lot. Um, and I did a lot of reading on relationships between men and women, what that looks like, you know, why do men think a certain way, why do women think a certain way, what are important aspects to know for dating, what are important things to know while married. Whether it was reading, whether it was um, watching videos, all that I have taken and have accumulated because I just have such a strong desire to know about these things and just a strong curiosity. So. Uh, I feel like the generation that I live in and you know a lot of the friends that I have are very lost in regards to this subject or very frustrated or have uh, given up on love or given up on relationships or the hopes of being married and all these types of things because of what we are seeing today, what's popular or what's being uh, broadcasted on social media as what a relationship looks like and I think there's a lot of just discouraged people out there and I kind of want to shed some of the positivity that I have onto you guys and I want to shed some of the insight that I've learned and again it's not neglecting the fact that relationships take work but I believe that if you have a positive outlook on relationships you're already uh, kind of winning the battle I think when we have a negative uh, outlook on anything it makes the challenge or whatever we are embarking on that much harder and so I really hope that the messages and the lessons and the things I talk about again I'm not like an expert I'm just someone who's naturally curious and has done research and uh, reading on this subject I hope that what I share with you encourages you inspires you to do your own research and to ask your own questions and I hope overall you are just uh, more excited and more knowledgeable because I feel like when we are knowledgeable about anything it allows the opportunity for change, it allows the opportunity for growth and just a better outlook and uh, better results for your life. If we obtain more uh, we have the opportunity to know more and then from there we get to change. So. With all that said, um, let me go ahead and jump into this video which is talking to you about the books that I have read, the information that I have accumulated, um, where that all has come from, and from there we will do videos that will be pretty much corresponding with the things I've read. This is just so you know that I'm not just, this is not just out of my head, like these are things I've read and researched and I want you guys just to know where these sources are coming from. So before I get into any more, I just want to have three disclaimers. I understand that there are exceptions to the rule, but this is the thing. Don't 
focus on the exceptions. If you focus on the exceptions, you are going to be blocking out the information that I'm telling you because you're automatically uh, closing yourself off because you are thinking of the fact, well, this one person wasn't like this or, well, that isn't true for my life. Focus what I'm telling you as general information to accumulate and to have for your own knowledge and your own safe in your mind. You know, keep it for your own files and uh, you know see how these things can apply but if you have these roadblocks which are your defense ne mechanisms because of the exceptions of the rules you're going to prevent yourself from hearing what i'm saying so um just put those down and just just listen just let's just be here together let's just be here like i understand you're you're, you're different your hair's purple mine's blonde right now it's okay it's okay it's okay apply everything i'm saying to a healthy relationship um some of the exceptions, some of the reasons that these aren't working is because you are involved in unhealthy relationships. Like anything I'm saying, like don't uh, take it all in the mindset that you are in a healthy relationship or that you are seeking a healthy relationship. If there is, you know, this loyalty from either partner, the girl or the guy, whatever it may be, um, these, uh, some of these things I'm going to talk about may not work, probably won't work, because the person is toxic, the person is causing you harm in whatever way. So remember this, take everything I'm saying in the perspective of a healthy relationship. And disclaimer number three, I am a follower of Christ, so some of the things I tell you may uh, be new to you, may be strange to you, you may have not heard of, maybe not what you do. But regardless of that, um, I'm this, this channel, this video is not, you know, the videos that I'm going to be doing are not to convert you, they are just to simply share information and to inform you because I want you to have a healthy, awesome relationship. Will I talk about spiritual things? Yes. Uh, will I talk about practical things? Absolutely. So everyone will have something to get out of this. I'm not excluding anyone. I want you all to ask me questions whether you're Muslim, Catholic, um, you, you know, whatever it is that you are a part of, if you have no sense of faith, just ask, because like ultimately my goal is to show you how to have healthy relationships and tips and practices that you can take with you and apply to your life. That is the goal. So um, everyone will have something to gain from this. And I think myself, I'm going to gain a lot by interacting with you. So that's the end of my disclaimer. Let's go ahead and jump into these books that I have accumulated, and I have read, and I have in my noggin. So let me share with you what we have. Many ways, uh, really good book. Uh, <laughs> I hope what I said made sense. I feel like I was just mumbling, but anyways, Oprah did it. 